Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends and today we're going to show you how to make a real easy grape juice. We got these grapes from a friend of ours, Mr. and Mrs. Harris. She was our home economics teacher and the assistant principal let me stay in her class for three days. We're going to take and put a one and a half cups of grapes per quart jar. I know this sounds bizarre, but when they come out, I'll show you what it looks like. And um, another friend of ours told us about how to do it. And of course, we thought, yeah, that don't sound good. But we made some the other day, and we had some friends over, and they loved them. I have my cell phone going off in the background, we'll ignore that. Okay, there's one and a half cups of grapes. And we're going to put a half a cup of sugar. And if you think that it's too sweet, you can use a little less. But our friends said, that they loved it and Marcia loved it and I liked it. So I guess that's all that matters. Okay. Cup and a half of grapes. A half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to put water. Then half of the now we're going to make some of this in half gallon jars too and try it. That's what Miss Harris said they always did. So of course, grape juice. And I just seen on the computer they having recalls on something. And you know, if you can it yourself, you never have to worry about a recall. So, now we got that done. That was a little bit too much water. Okay. Now, we're going to put our hot lids. My fingers are clean. I'm just going to wipe them with that. Which is nothing there to, to get in your way. Okay. riper your grape, the better it is. And Mrs. Harris said that if you let them stand for a little while, they get even better. So we we drank some of theirs a week after we did it. And then all we're going to do is put it in a hot water bath for 10 minutes. So, then we're going to show you another trick with it when it, when it comes out. So now I'm going to put this in a hot water bath for 10 minutes and then we'll take it from there. Okay, these have been processing for 10 minutes. This is a Concord grape. You can probably use any grape maybe, I don't know. But anyway, this is what it looks like now and you can see you got some sugar in the bottom of it and the color is not that awful great but this was canned on on the 24th of this month you can see there's no sugar and look at that color and all you do is strain that out through a colander or a strainer of some sort and you'll have fresh grape juice all winter long and everybody says it's delicious that's tasted it and you can't get any simpler than that and use your Concord grape so I recommend everybody doing this. Until next time, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends. If you have any questions, email me at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. Thank you.